guys welcome to a very special urban working hour review um reason i'm talking so hushed is because it's quite late and um everyone in the house is asleep but um the reason this is such a special review is because i'm going to be reviewing a beer that was sent to me by jens it's um another of the anniversary elves from firestone he sent me the 14th anniversary before which I went absolutely mental over. This is the 16th anniversary Firestone anniversary ale. Um, I know this one's not available anymore. It's very limited. Um, the box that he gave me is looks like, like it's been stored. Um, I've got that. I'm going to be keeping that. All the paperwork, everything, because it's a real collector's edition. Um, this comes in at 13%, which is... I think that's about the same ABV of the last one. Um, it's got loads of paperwork. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to quickly give you an idea of what's actually gone into this beer because it's a blend. Um, so uh, in ascending to descend, sorry, in um, yeah, ascending to descending order. Obviously, starting off with the ones that have got the most in. Uh, it's got 23% uh, of their velvet merkin, which is aged in bourbon barrels uh, and oatmeal stout. 22.5% uh, of Sticky Monkey, which is their English barley wine. 20% um, of their Double Double Barrel Owl, which is an English Pale Owl Double Strength. 13% of Parabola, which is their awesome, awesome Imperial Stout. 8% um, of PNC, which is their American Strong Buckwheat Stout. 5.4% of Hell Dorado, which is their Blonde Barley Wine. 5.4% of Bravo, which is their Imperial Brown Ale aged in bourbon and brandy barrels. And 4.5% of Wookie Jack, which is their Black Rye IPA. Um, yeah, I mean, anyone can blend stuff, but, you know, you need to do it really well to be able to, you know, create perfect flavours. They did it with a 14, which was unbelievable. Um... Monk's Calf from uh, Sweden do a lot of uh, blended beers and they're superb. They'll mix Bowen County with um, Belgian beers and you know they're just superb. I mean, you can see how it could fuck up if they put one and the other in and you taste it and it could just completely ruin it. But you know, that's a real craft. I think you know, creating a beer is a craft, blending a beer is a craft as well. So, anyway, stop waffling. Let's get scrapped. I'd also like to add that it's um, half past two in the morning and I'm in the process of um, having a beer chat with Albino Ryan and some of the guys in the States and Canada. So <laughs> As soon as I've reviewed this, I'll get back on there. All right. So, poor wise, um, it's not looking as dark as I thought it was going to be. I was expecting a stout, um, but to me it looks more like a... Almost like a barley wine. It is dark, as you can see. And there is a nice coffee-coloured head, but it is, you, there is a little bit of light coming through. But this webcam is not the greatest, but you can see it. There's a little bit of red. But yeah, it looks really, really good, as for most Firestone beers do. Well, all Firestone beers. I've never had a bad beer from them. So let's get a nose. I'll tell you what, you can just sit and sniff their beers all day. They're so floral not really floral fragrant um mm, just big sort of bolshy chocolate toffee um coffee caramel did i say caramel already um bourbon you're getting that sort of coming through the sweetness of the bourbon Even a little bit of earthiness, which is the first time I've ever smelled um, earthy hops in a in a Firestone beer. Not very, not very big, but very sort of faint. You can see they're sort of trying to fight through that big sort of barrel aged um, pungency. Yeah, smells superb. Um, Jens, thank you so much. I oh, know I'm gonna go mental over this. Cheers, guys.
it's superb it really really is compared to the 14th anniversary I would edge the 14th over this um, mainly because the 14th was a bit more bolshier in flavor but this it's still got all those lovely flavors the barrel aging sweetness um, the coffee and the chocolate oh just gorgeous but I don't know whether it's because he's put a bit of age on this but you're getting a gorgeous balance a lovely smoothness which um oh it's just beautiful it just glides over the tongue like velvet it really really does it's a 13 percent beer as um you're sort of sniffing it up your nose you can sort of sense that high alcohol but as soon as it touches your mouth it's like you know it is it's like it is utopia it's just beautiful straight over the mouth washing around all these lovely flavors and then whoosh it's gone like a distant memory beautiful really really lovely flavors um, getting a lot of coffee on the finish as well let's uh, give you a couple more taste notes mm. I've only got this third temperature I made sure this one didn't go in the fridge but oh god it's gorgeous now I've had a second sip I'm getting more vanilla more coffee more milk chocolate that bourbon uh, sweetness edging up the sides of the tongue again leading into this slightly earthy but rummy sweet finish oh, so good really really good <laughs> This is just, um, it's Firestone Walker. I mean, their beers are just the best. Best brewery ever, I feel. Um, they've yet to produce a good, a, a bad beer. Um, 10 out of 10 all the way. Uh, there's not much more I can say other than Jens. Thank you so much for, I know this is from your collection. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful. I'm just going to sit and enjoy this now. Get back on the old chat with the Canadians and make them a bit jealous. Cheers.